All right. Well, then let's get started. Uh, today, we're going to do um, a massive uh, lab session for Fakum Ram. Basically, see what makes them tick. Um, I'm going to be writing the script for the upcoming overviews live uh, here. Uh, the link should be in the chat if you want to help out, check it out. Um, I've already done a little bit of labbing on him. Um, I watched a few uh, combo videos, uh, one by Legendary Mihawk, and I basically just wrote down all of his combo structure basically. So his combo starters, uh, his filler, screw starters, enders, and whatnot. So we don't have to do all this research in the middle of the stream. But yeah, other than that, um, I have a very rudimentary idea of what makes this character good or weak or whatever. But just from the uh, initial cursory glance, he seems pretty strong. Uh, but not Leroy levels of obnoxious or anything. So um, let's dive in. So where's everyone watching from? Right now in Japan, it's four in the morning. <laughs> My sleep schedule is fucked. Anyway, I guess let's just go through all his move list bit by bit. Well, we'll check out all his rage stuff later. Uh, let's just go over his jab strings. One one. Okay, so not a natural combo. Um, I'm guessing it combos on counter though. It does, leaves you at plus four, and then crouching. On block, it's minus seven. Are they not crouching? Um, I guess it's okay, this string. Yeah, it's sort of whatever. Check the tracker. The second hit totally tracks, doesn't it? So yeah, the second hit is like a tracking move. If you want to stop him stepping after your jab, the second hit of this string seems really hard to step. The tracking seems fairly decent. And you know, it's high mid, which is always good in a jab string. Yeah, it's natural, isn't it? Ah, so wait, wait, let's just go back to 1-1. One, one. What can I get for free after that? Just just a down four? Four forward one plus two. Oh wow. That's that's a pretty good lick of damage. So yeah, this is actually a fairly decent jab string. Really makes you not want to do anything after his jab, basically, because this tr the second hit tracks, uh, it grounds on on counter hit. We'll free this for how much damage? Let's see total damage on that. Like 41 damage? That's, that's pretty damn good. Um, fuck. Wow. <laughs> fuck. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be saying, we're going to be saying fuck a lot during the stream. Yeah, yeah. He, he does seem to have a really long jab, isn't he? He's a tall guy. I mean, of course, it's not, it's not like Gigas level, but for like a character that's not rubbish. Uh, this is a really good jab. What is it? Like, we can check the distance. It's 2.2 2 meters. Maybe more. 2.3, wow. Let's push to 2.4. 2.4, wow. <laughs> 2.5? Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> when you... Like, I believe the lowest range jab in the game is surprisingly Steve's, and it's less than two meters. He has amazing jab strings, but his single jab has dog shit range. But he has one two one, which is like arguably oh, the best jab string in the game, so it kind of makes up for it. But this single jab, this is pretty crazy. It's about 2.5. I wonder how the, the thing is, since he's tall, I wonder what the vertical hitbox is like on this. If it's like Brian's that goes over Kazumi down forward one, that's unfortunate, but I don't think it'll be like that. But you know, cool, tall characters in fighting games tend to have um, really shitty vertical hitboxes. Alright, uh, so yeah, 1-1, one, one, pretty decent. Um, jab pressure string. 
Just makes you really not want to do anything after his jab. Not that you should be doing anything after a jab, but this really, <laughs> this really uh, rams at home. Yeah, let's call him Fab. Okay, uh, so next move. One, two. Well, it's a one, two. This, I doubt, yeah, it's, it's a one, two. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. Pretty standard. Uh, one, two, one, four. Well, let's see what one, two, one is like by itself. I wonder... Oh, nice. Okay. So, um... And this is safe, too. Okay. So, again, this is another pressure string. You don't want to do anything after a single jab because of this. You don't want to do anything after 1-2 because of this. I wonder what 1-2-1-4 one, one, is on block. Unsafe. Okay. So it's not Steve who can just like kind of throw strings out all day and generally stay safe. Uh, I wonder what the last hit... Are they natural combo? Okay. But I don't even need a counter hit there. It's it's natural combo from... The se yeah. Ah, okay, not on counter. Okay, okay, makes sense. Alright, so pretty decent jab pressure. Oh, okay, so this is hit confirmable. Nice, and it's not too hard. Well, a bit hard. Yeah, okay, that's not too bad at all, actually. Yeah, the, the crazy thing about Fakum Ram is a safe long range mid wall bounce. That's, we'll get to that later. One, two, wait, one more time. One, two, four, three. Right, and you can cancel four, three into things, can't you? By itself? What is this? 12 frames. But I've heard his best 12 frame Punisher is this. And that is also 12 frames. And that has great range. And this, does this guarantee anything? 4, 2, 1. Y yes. Wow. Oh, wait, can they back roll that? Yeah. Still. Okay. Um, but still, this is a... This is a fairly decent 12 framer as well. Plus 6, good damage. Okay, so... Now we're going to get into his uh, four cancels. So you can go into his four cancels from his one, two jabs. So he can keep you honest from jabs with this, and this is fully confirmable. So he's got, so he's got good mix-ups from his jabs. If he wants you not to press buttons, he can do one, two, one. And then if you press buttons after his 1-2, you eat this, basically. But then if he wants to start mixing you up, he's got this. 1, 2, 4, 3, 1. Right, right, right. And this leaves you... This is a counter hit move, isn't it? Oh, that's natural. And that leads to shit thunder damage. Yeah, so big stun, big damage. Yeah, tracking generally seems to be one of his issues, doesn't it? Um, this looks super steppable, and that, like, he, he can get into good pressure from both his 1 2 jabs and his 13 frame mid. Uh, and this also he can do. Can he do cancels from this? We'll see you later. Um, but the main threat from the 4 3 is this. And I believe this is guaranteed. Of course, at the wall, this is much scarier. Yeah. 
His his magic four is what twelve frames? Yeah, but good range, <laughs> really good range. Unfortunately, you can't do it from a side step because you get this knee instead. Which sucks. But you know, um, can he convert from his magic four at max range or not? Oh, he can't combo from magic four, really? Surely he. Oh, that sucks then. There's nothing he gets after this. Ah, uh, you have to do four three. Right. So if I, but that means you can't just throw this out. So his keep out seems a bit shitty, really. Like, what does he have to stop people running in? I mean, it should be this, right? But everything seems horrible on whiff. He doesn't have a, like a generic down forward two. He doesn't have like a magic four which can just convert off by itself. Um. Does he have any good keep out moves? Yeah, he doesn't have a generic down forward. forward. This is 16 frames. Yeah, so let's let's put that down in weaknesses. That that seems pretty obvious. From magic four needs to do four three pressure from one two and three. This gives a combo on counter, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it does. Screw it. Screw combo. Uh, okay. So let, let's carry on with the move list. Let's not get too distracted. Uh, one, two, four, four. So this is the high-low. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, like, he, he, he really seems like an aggressive pressure mix-up, mix-up, rush-down kind of character who wants to push you to the wall and then fuck you up at the wall. Um, basically. Like, he's not the kind of character who's gonna, like, you know, like, Lee or something, who's gonna dance around here and, 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 and bait you to do stuff. What, what can I do after 4-3 to get a combo? Back one? Yeah, back one. Oh, 3-4-4. Well, four, four. Maybe... Oh no. That's a bit inconsistent, isn't it? Okay. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I wrote a, a list of his, his filler. Um, by the way, guys, in the chat, if you want to see the doc I'm working on... I'll throw it, I'll throw it in there for you. Uh... So you can see the filler for his combo. See the back one, up forward four, down forward one, two, one, or four, three, four. So basically, he's a rushdown character with strong pressure from jabs and three. Bad at keep out. Man, his, his limbs are so long, it's really hard to get a single hit or counter hit. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa! <laughs> Unexpected. Is that just his 4-4? Can I delay? This, this should be really good if I could delay 4-4, but you just have to do it. pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's an increasing trend in Tekken, these like auto combos like um, Leroy's Malak. counter hit back one. So you really don't want to press buttons on him after his, his jabs. Like, he's got this after a single jab. He's got... This is minus 16 though. Ouch. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Like, just about the whole cast Except for Steve can launch punish that. And Anna, of course. Steve and Anna can't launch punish this. Yeah, I think they were definitely more 
they were quite careful with this character after the whole Leroy debacle, right? All right. Oh yeah, yeah, Asuka can't punish it either. Um, okay, one four. This is a pretty damn good I can punisher. You get plus sixteen, which is really. It's like. Does it jail? Uh, let me just test that. Hold on. Oh yeah, no it doesn't. Yeah. And so this is a bit like, I guess, um, Jin's 2-4 or Lily's 2-4, except of course it's a knockdown. Uh, I'm, it, it's looking like it will splash. I'm almost positive it does. If you're plus 16 at this range, what's good? I guess 3 pressure? But yeah, you, you don't really want to duck by after his jab, do you? And what is this on block? Sorry. Minus 8, so your turn's over, basically. Um, I wonder if I can do something like this. How evasive is that? Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Um, I'll test his, his little, um, his flow chance later. Uh, hold on. I want to test, yeah, how, how safe his lows are. Let's quickly go over his lows. Minus 12? Yeah, okay. That's not bad. So that's his safe low. Minus 14. Well, that's his damaging low. Uh, what else does he have? Down four. Minus sixteen. Um, yeah. This is quick, but not that quick. It's not as quick as Josie down four. It's like a shitty Josie down four, four right? No generic down four. Yeah, that sucks. Um, what are his lows again? So. Down four, down three, down back four. Josie's down four is actually 50 for it. So wait, it's faster than Josie's down four? Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Minus 16 is not good, is it? It's basically the same as this. Yeah. Uh, what's this on block? Slightly better range. Minus 12. I mean, this seems fairly decent for a low. Good range. Pretty damn safe. Horrendous on whiff. Um, what does it do? Does it do things on counter hit? Let's see. Uh, doesn't seem to. No. Gets you sparks for more damage, I guess. Yeah. Three more damage, but no frame data difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I noticed. I actually wrote high crush as a, as a weakness. That's the first thing you look for as a Steve player. Can this character go under my back one? And he can't. So this is going to be a horrendous matchup for Steve. Uh, against Steve. Not for Steve. Against Steve. Yeah. He does have an unparryable down one, doesn't he? Um, but it's it's it, the frame date's not good. Minus nine, plus two, slower. It's slower, gives you less advantage, more negative on block. But it's an elbow. So it's unparable. Yeah, his approach is strong, his space control is strong. Ugh, minus 13, horrendous on whiff. Yeah, no, I mean, no. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, uh, down back two, I guess. Not great damage. The follow up is natural, but. Minus 13? <laughs> doesn't high crush? This doesn't high crush. Oh well. His, his, by the way, on the topic of movement, his backdash does seem better than average. So he has a better than average sidestep. Interesting. So his backdash is better than average. And is, is his sidestep better than average? Yeah, if this was an armor move, it would have been insane, wouldn't it? It's still basically like... What is this on block? Plus six. 
<laughs> yeah, so it's basically an electric, isn't it? And the pushback, it's gonna push you towards the wall. Yeah, he can really bully you, can't he? Crazy range and tracking. Jesus. That's a very strong move. If you want to duck it, he has... A bit slow. But, near the wall. Like, really the focus of fucking Rum seems to be... Push him to the wall and fuck him up. <laughs> Fab him up. Um... And this, but this is really unsafe, surely. Yes, minus 14. Um, he had like a tracking mid, didn't he? 4 4 4. Um, but this is minus 13? Yes. But some fairly decent pushback. But he himself can punish it with this. And I'm guessing 3 as well, yeah. I wonder how many characters can actually punish this. That's really good range. Ah, uh, yeah, he can cancel this, can't he? So, um, yeah, yeah, he's he's got a health sweep, doesn't he? What moves can he cancel into health sweep from? It's forward, forward, four. What else? Down forward one four. Ooh, okay. Okay, so he has some fairly decent mix-ups. Oh, this is the same. Wow, strong mix-ups. Wow, very strong mix-ups. Oof. Oof. So he has good fully crouch mix too. Pretty good, man. That's 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 scary to defend against. Can this be fuzzy? Doesn't look like it. I guess you probably can. Let's try. It. Let's try it. Ooh, that yeah comes out of nowhere, doesn't it? Yeah, you can fuzzy. You can fuzzy. But, you know, if, if they're committing to a fuzzy, you can probably just, like, do this. Of course. Is this natural? I don't think so. No, it's not. This. This is natural, though. Oh, yeah, God, he has this, doesn't he? So, yeah, his mix-ups seem pretty scary. Well, there is, um... So, let's say I do a... I'm in fully crouch and I want to mix you up. Like, say I've done this. Uh, how fast does this come out? 19 frames? Pretty good. Slightly awkward animation. Minus 9. Let's just do things on counter hit. Huh. Is there a string behind this? Oh, yes, there is. <laughs> anyway, let's carry on with the move list. We're getting distracted here. Uh, so yeah, one four, really good jab punisher, especially with this jab range. That's really really good. And like, it puts you in the perfect range to like go into his down forward one mix. All right. Uh, all right. Next move, two four three. So from two four, you can do a bunch of things. All right. So it, it's just this again. Is this natural? No. Probably on counter hit. Okay, I guess. Um. What, how fast is this? 12 frames? I mean, his 2 4 string seems a bit rubbish. I mean, let's see. Why would you. It's basically just 1 2. It's his 1-2, but just skipping out the jab. So, like, Horang can do a similar thing. Yeah, sure. Nothing too exciting here. Uh, now, his 3-string seems really good. 
Anyway, uh, sorry, I forgot to add. Something I want to add to my little dog here is movement. Um, Guys, can I confirm, Does is his sidestep above average? Because his backdash certainly is. I wonder why that is. Uh, I wonder if it's a hitbox thing. Um, is it just because he moves more with his sidestep or because he has a... Because he's a big guy, you wouldn't think he'd have a better sidestep. But maybe because he has a disproportionately thin waist compared to his chest, I'm not sure. Like... I haven't played with him at all. I haven't played any matches with him. But are people noticing that his hitbox is smaller than average? Because that is a really bizarre feature for this character. Considering they touted him as being the biggest character in the game. His running 3 seems really good. Oh, that's... A very deceptive hitbox and not in a good way. Yowza, no. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I thought it would have amazing horizontal range, but it does seem to whiff in your face. Yeah, uh, What else? Okay, so we were going through his 3-1 stuff. So, 3-1 is natural, which is great, but um, I'm sure this doesn't jail. I don't think I need to test that it doesn't jail. But, there is a mid extension here, yeah, which is unsafe, but gives you things. Yeah, ow, 62 damage. Is anything guaranteed on this guard break? This is guaranteed. This is guaranteed. I believe it's, 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 there's no escaping that. Yeah, I can't, I can't duck that. I can't do anything there. Yeah, I can't backdash it, can't duck it, can't do anything. It's a real plus break. I believe the reason why down forward connects and down forward one doesn't is that down forward uh, down four has a smidgen more range. But let's try that out. Now you can block that for some reason. Interesting. Yeah, this is unescapable. Peculiar. Peculiar. I wonder if it's intentional. Yeah. Not to escape the mid knee. Very linear. Ooh, sidestep right. Yeah. Or just interrupt it. But if you interrupt it, you know, I, I guess with this character, you generally want to step his offense. This is the thing with Fakum Ram. I have a feeling uh, characters like uh, Steve and possibly Law, with good high keep out moves, anyone with a magic four really, are going to give them a lot of trouble. Like. Um, you know, he He doesn't have a good high crush, basically, so he struggles to get in against those characters. Um, and then once he's in, I'm guessing the big Achilles heel to his offense is um, stepping. Thank you. All right, let's next, let's next, 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 next. Uh, three, one, four, four, and three, one, down four. So again, this is his down four. Same as this. But given that you have this, and it seems very hard to fuzzy guard, probably impossible. This seems like an annoying little low poke, but you know, if it's if it's red. You need to lay the last hit. You can, and it's a natural too. But it just seems like you can't hit confirm it. You can't hit confirm, you gotta to commit to it. But you can delay it. Hmm. 
Interesting. Yeah. So his down four as a standalone move does toast up stun on counter hit. But from a string, does yeah. From one two four four or two four four does the other one. There you go. So from three one, he has three one down four. Three one four stuff. Hold on. And yeah, he can just from three by itself, he can do this kind of stuff. It's plus six, but quite a lot of pushback. Okay. So he has some pretty decent pressure from three. He can do um three one, which is a natural. Three one down four. Three one four four. Which is minus fourteen, but you know. If you just do 314 by itself, they might not punish it because of the continuation. 314, 31 down 4. This seems really annoying to block against, to defend against. Uh, 344, four, which is his stance cancel. 343. Three. So he has tons of options from his 3. Question is. He has tons of options to, to blow up mashers. But in open ground... I mean, it's... Yeah, he pushes you to the wall. And at the wall, he fucks you up. So, at the wall, you can bully like this. And then threaten with this. But it scales heavily, right? So only 32 damage from that wall splat. That's not that bad, really. I mean, that's probably not his optimal wall combo. Okay, so this is the same stuff from uh, 1, 2, or 2. Okay, some pretty decent pressure from his um, from his three, but unless you're at the wall, it's not particularly scary. But he's very good at pushing you to the wall with back forward four, and yeah, if you can scare them enough. All right, we'll hold the three, not the four. Yeah, some scary string pressure here. Heavy middle kick, what's this? It seems like it does things on counter hit. And it does. So this is his counter hit mid. It's pretty good. 18 frames, decent -ish range. That's not bad at all. This, this is a pretty good counter hit mid. Good range. You can kind of just bully with this from terrible on whiff, though. It's a common theme with this character. Uh, stu stuff is terrible on whiff. Alright. Alright. I'll go over his combos later. Uh, this is his 12 frame Punisher. And it seems like it has really good range. Let's test this. Yeah, it does. Very consistent. Nice. You can also do 4 3 if you want, I guess. Right, good, good, good punishment. Yeah. Mm, this recovers fast, but it's 28 frames itself. Alright. Forward 3. The forward 3 string. 
Okay, so it's a mid mid. Doesn't seem natural. Oh, combo. This combo filler. Yeah, the string is quite unsafe. How do I convert off of this? Maybe. Uh, you, need to you need to commit to the full string. Oh man, if I even. Can you confirm it's the full? No, you just have to do the whole thing. Right, okay. Yeah, seems like combo filler mainly. Okay. Uh, Horizon Dash. Now, this is a bit slow. Terrible on whiff. But. It's safe. It's a mid, of course. <laughs> I guess it has terrible tracking as well. Let's try it out. I'd be surprised if it doesn't have terrible tracking. And it's a wall bounce, yeah. Oh, well. It has a bit more tracking than I thought it would. Probably due to the dash motion. But it has a bit of tracking, but yeah, even if you're side walking, no. <laughs> yeah, it's fully crouch mix up. What's the best mid to mix up his lows with? Oh, that is it confirmable. Wow. Ah. I think. Let's see. No, it's not hit confirmable. No, no, no. No, that's not hit confirmable. Yeah, you, you just, it's just slightly delayable. At least we have incredibly good reactions, maybe, but, you know, I don't think. Down forward one. Okay, so his down forward stuff seems really good. His down forward one four, as we established, is the same as his forward forward four, which is your health sweep mix up string stance. I can go for a, or I can go for a mid. Sorry. Oh, combo. Wow, that's not bad. It's a nice little bonus. Right, so it doesn't it doesn't actually trip unless you do the two. If you just just by itself, it just does that. So why wouldn't you just finish the string? Weird, huh? This by itself. Yeah. Weird. Alright, let's take a look at his down forward two one. What's this like on block? Ugh. So yeah, Kazuya is gonna launch that, and Josie, and Akuma, and possibly Eddie too. Ugh. But this is his um, this is his 15 frame launcher.
Let's try a quick combo. Pretty short range on this. In that kind of situation, I guess when they're kind of near the wall but they haven't splattered it. What do I do? We'll figure it out later. Uh, down four, three. Okay, so yeah, we had a look at this low, didn't we? It's his longest range low. Welcome, I appreciate it. Thank you. It's like on block again, minus 12, yeah. This <coughs> might be his best low, because it's relatively safe. <coughs> this is his power low, of course. What's it like on block again? Yeah, minus 14. So down back 4 and down 4 3 are both fairly decent lows. This lows are, yeah. Nothing really stands out. <coughs> Down four, four, three. Okay, so this is natural, I believe. Yeah. What's it like on block? Minus nine. But does it jail? And I'm fairly certain it does not. So let's try it out, though. Yeah. But yeah, as you said, seems like a really solid, easy whip punisher. Oh. Okay, the stop crouches. Nice, nice, nice. Hey, Dread Tech, good to see you, man. How you doing? So what can I get after this? Probably, uh... Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. 37 damage, not bad. And plus one on block. Ooh. So you don't wanna you don't actually don't wanna duck this. That's really good. That's a really good string then. Okay. Down one and down two. This is pretty damn good. This So this is safe. Mid high. <laughs> That's a really good little little uh, mid range with punishing poking string. That's really good. Yeah, I'm sure you can fuzzy this though. So you see, you see this, you duck for a bit. Maybe you can even do something like duck sidestep to evade everything. Let's give it a shot. Uh, okay. Oh no, <laughs> it's too fast. Yeah, no, you can't really fuzzy that. If you, especially if you want to punish it. Yeah, you can. If, if you want to just defend against it, you can fuzzy, I guess, but... Yeah, no. Uh, a fairly decent string, then. What's his best um, launcher with Punisher? Launching with Punisher, because this this is good, but I mean no range, right? Maybe up oh, a bit slow. Yeah, 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 you're right. Okay, four, four, one plus two. So for big whiffs, you want to do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you're not entirely confident in the whiff, well, this is plus on block. Uh, okay, okay. Maybe four, four, two, one. What's this like on block? Ugh, same. Okay. Down one. Minus five leaves you in crown. I was hoping this would be like a uh, Bob's chop chop, you know. But, yeah, no. Minus five. 
Oh yeah, this is good for whips. And you get a free, um... Well... The thing with down one is that it's minus five, so he doesn't really get much of a mix-up. Plus eight on hit, though. So, I mean, it means it's a pure guess between that. Yeah, so with Punishers... I'm not sure this is a strength, but I'm going to list it here. With Punishment. And close range, of course. Um, for minor whiffs, you have 1 4, which is pretty good. And maybe uh, 4 2 1. Or 4 3. If you want to, like, you know, see if they're continuing a string up close. With punishment, I like to separate it between, like, range 2 with punishment, which is this stuff, and the stuff you do from a sidestep. Oh yeah. But there's no reason to use this as a 14 frame punisher, I assume. Back to one. Except maybe if you're at the wall, you might want to use this instead. Yeah, mix ups. So I guess if you want to mix up uh, from Fully Crouch, your best options are uh, either the Fully Crouch down 4 3 2, the Hell Sweep, or continue your offense with while standing 2, basically. Seems like a really momentum focused character. Uh, yeah, his whip punishment is okay. Not really a strength, not bad. His block punishment seems like a strength though. This is really, really solid. Um, he doesn't have like a I-14 launch from Crouch. Or I think crazy like an I-14 launcher, but it's very, very solid. His 14 frame punisher is pretty good actually. I mean, you get some really decent damage off of that. Yeah, that's good. His block punishment is actually well above average, isn't it? Especially due to the range of his jabs. Okay. Um, that's good. That's very good. And I guess, does this punish stuff like Death Fist? Looks like it. I guess he could do this against Kuma's Ford 4 too, right? But that's the execution barrier. I'm sure it reaches, yeah. Okay. Um, so let's look at his... So yeah, uh, this... And I've seen this, this is like Twitter tech, right? It's basically a low jab in terms of functionality, but... Um, That's slightly less range, which is kind of whatever, but um, you, but worse frame advantage on hit and block. Um, slower, um, but you can't low parry it. So I guess in some specialized matchups, it, it's a pretty good option. Now three, four, three. Okay. Same as this one, two, four stuff. I'm gonna steer from down three. So you can go into um, this little string mix up from one, two, four, two, four, down three, four. Um, I swear there was something else. All right, let's try uh, this high crush kind of move. Minus 13 on block, let's see how evasive it is. Uh, let's put him at a bigger disadvantage. That hasn't reached, does it? Uh... Maybe let's do... Ah, let's see if you got plus one too. Uh, Alright, let's try this. Uh, 
Oh wow. Plus eight. Okay. Yeah, you can't duck under that. Uh So this is just a high crush basically. Like a really big call out against jabs or other highs. Try this. It's a punch parry. Seems a bit whatever, really. Not the best panic move. That seems like another weakness, really, him dealing with close range pressure. Unvariable dick, right. I don't know if he's basic intermediate. I'm, that's just something I'm throwing out there. Um, I'd probably say he's intermediate given his stance cancel stuff. Alright, um, let's see this. How evasive is this? Yeah, I got on the jab. But... Hold on. What's the fr frame data again? Yeah, minus 13. And can I... Yeah, you can't confirm it at all. And the hit by itself is minus 10, but whatever. Yeah, not great. Not great. So we know this, this is his power low. Uh, fair bit of pushback, but plus five leaves him in crouch. That's a pretty strong low. Not amazing, but it doesn't do stuff on counter hit, like Jin or Kazumi or whatever. Well, Kazumi is before. How good is this? Uh, these kinds of moves are generally whatever. I mean, how evasive is this? Could be useful in poking strings. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. Not very evasive. It's not like Feng's up forward two or Jin's up forward two. Yeah, so rubbish panic moves basically. Um, yeah, we established this is a really good I-14 Punisher. Really good. Hello, Chris. I'm well, thank you. Thanks for tuning into the stream. This is, um, let's see what this is on block. Minus nine. Hmm. Is it natural? I guess... I mean, yeah, but I'm fairly sure it doesn't jail. I guess you can throw it out once in a while, but whatever. The threat really comes from that. Which is probably scary at the wall. Like, I, I think his string, like his endless strings and his um, guard breaks and his hell sweep, like, he, he's a scary character to deal with, I'd imagine. Yeah. But yeah, the guard breaks scale heavily. Yeah, I fought team punish the wall. Yeah, we we wrote that down before. There you go. Uh, okay. So back two three. What is this? Oh. Okay, another low. We'll slap some rain. I'll check it out. Ooh, right. Well, you know. Those things. Don't count hit. I imagine you get a forward forward one plus two there. You do? Wow. That's pretty good. Pretty good. What's this like on block, though? 
minus 14. Yeah. If you have a high high and a high low, so. <laughs> but this becomes mid. Right, right, right. Oh wow, that's, that's some quieter range, doesn't it? Like maybe here, I guess? Pretty good. Sidestep left. I guess his weak side is you want to sidestep left mainly against him? You can't break his down forward 1 plus 2. Must be a better shot. Seems fairly. I mean, but there are lots of war splashing 1 plus 2 grabs, like, you know, Demon Headbutt or, or Kazumi's one or, you know. Is, is the break window more than average? Maybe. The thing is, he has so many things to keep in mind with all his jab strings and pressure that you're probably going to be opened up by throws a bit more. You have to be really active on your defense against a character like this. And it builds your mental stack. So, um, even if it's a placebo, I can imagine throw breaking against a character like this, where you have to juggle so many balls to defend against him, would be more difficult. Thunder shot kick. Yeah, so we, this is a really good um, tra tracking move. Wow. Ooh! Ooh, that's damaging. Yowza, yowza, yowza. Mm. What's this range drive again? I haven't, I haven't tried this range stuff. Um, alright. I see. Oh, wait. Huh. That's not a health suite. Interesting. Oh, that's a bummer. When I saw this, I thought this looks really scary, but... Mm. Oh, this is plus one. Interesting. This is deceptive plus one, I think. You wouldn't think this to be plus one. Maybe it's just plus one because it's the wall. Hold on. Oh no, it's always plus one. Disappointed that um, <laughs> this is not a hell sweep. Wait. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, it is a hell sweep. It's just it's blocking the first hit. Wow. Okay, that's pretty good then. That's a really strong rage drive then. There aren't many um, 
you know, a lower rage drive. There's obviously Shao Yu's, there's Devil Jin's, um, Jack? Um, Lei, yeah, that's right. Gunryu, Gunryu's one, yeah. Those one is shitty though. <laughs> Let's carry on with the um, nucleus. We're almost there, I think. Where were we? We were here, weren't we? The thunder shock kick. Yeah, we looked at that. Good move. Uh, back four, three, two. So this bridge just seems like combo filler. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, he's unblockable. We've seen that already. His low crush. What's the second block? Ah, it's safe. That's pretty good. Always nice to have a safe near launcher. Yeah, 28 frames, linear. Easy to jab float. Better to have it than not have it, right? I mean, a good hard read against low uh, dick jabs or low, I guess. Alright, the flying teeth. Yeah. That doesn't seem very good, does it? Seems fairly pointless. Pretty slow. Uh, not great on block. Bad on whiff, yeah, whatever. Um, a fourth ball. This seems like combo filler. Yeah, pointless. Um, four, four, two, one. This also seems like combo filler. And it is. Four, four, three. This is plus, isn't it? It's like on block. Plus five. Reminds me a bit of uh, Horan's four, four, four. But it's plus. And a bit slower. It's pretty good. Looks linear as all hell, though. Let's try it out. Yeah, very decisive. Oh. Alright, 4 4 4. Yeah, this week. This is good. This is a good move because you can do it by itself. Unsafe. Um, I think he's interesting. I, he's unique, which is nice. I mean, no one like there's no character out there like him with his kind of guard break pressure. I like the fact that he's unique. It's interesting because when I first saw Leroy, I thought, "Wow, this seems like the kind of character who's going to be very interesting and unique, and he's going to have like some stance bullshit." No, he turned out to be very kind of basic and uninspired in his move list. Falcon Ram, when I first saw him, I thought, ah, uh, well, you know, he's going to be a big bruiser sort, but no, it's the exact opposite. It's Falcon Ram that has uh, a more creative move set, whereas Leroy is the kind of, you know, training wheels character. Um, well. Irakane, sweet. We're writing that down in the dock. I'll show you in a sec. Let me just finish up the move list. Four, four. Okay, so this is a hell sweet mix. Yeah, so you can go mid, low, or keep him honest with this. Four, four, one plus two. Okay, yeah. This is big with Punisher, but very unsafe. Or minus 14. Also used in um, some ground combos. No worries, man. Uh, back forward 1 4. This is, I think, possibly his best move. I'll have to see. I have to try him out in practice. But it's basically Muay Thai electric. A bit slow, of course, but easy electric. Big range. Plus on block. Huge combo. Yeah, it's plus six. Push back. He can push you to the wall very quickly with stuff like this. I just put them all on guard. If you're being very defensive, he can push you to the, to the wall very quickly when he's very scary. Oh look, you're at the wall, right? On block. 
And if you want to challenge him. And the trailer just had armor, didn't it? It's already an amazing move without armor. Uh, this is his running three. Mm, still running three, but very linear. Good approach, I think. But what hurts him is his lack of high brush. That's going to make some matchups so hard for him. Yeah, it's faster than normal, but I think more linear. Let's try that. I mean, all running threes are linear, but this one is super linear. Oh, sorry. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really linear. How fast is a regular running three? It's about the same speed, right? I think. Maybe a bit slow. Maybe it's a little bit faster than a generic running three. But it is more linear, for sure. We've looked at his while standing stuff. Tag tournament. Okay. Alright. Yeah, Laws is 23 frames, isn't it? Okay. Uh, that's his while standing punisher, and that's it! Really. So, I think I've got a fairly decent grasp on the character. Uh, I'm gonna go on to um, an infinite stage to practice combos. So this guy won't be established about the character. Fahum Ram is a tall, angry man. Um, he's really focused on rushdown. Um, offensive rushdown with strong um, pressure from jabs, three, and hard-hitting mix-ups from down forward one, and forward, forward, forward. Long next, we can strong reach and take roll. Back forward is one higher. Um, that becomes, that becomes, um, since he needs to go into string, almost from medical. I think his low crush is okay, but his high crush is terrible. I mean, what does he have? He like like this? Yeah, he has weaknesses. He has he has a very defined game plan. Um, he he's very much a rushdown character. You want to play aggressively with him. This is garbage. This is garbage. This is so bad. This? No. Bad on whiff. Range isn't anywhere like Brian's. This is slow. This is okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is terrible panic move. It only catches kicks. Window is small. This is punishable on block, um, floatable, slow, it's rubbish. His panic moves are rubbish. Yeah, I think he's going to be fairly mid-tier, to be honest with you. But who knows? Does he have good wall carry? I'm going to have to try his combos now. Okay. So this is my little combo cheat sheet. Combo starters, down 4, 2, 3, which is his I-15 punish. Ooh, pretty good. Got dash first. Seems a bit tight. Micro dash. Okay. Um, filler. Back one. Up forward four. Down forward one two one. Four three four. Okay. Okay. 
And that's basically the same as this. It's the same thing. Just a different string starts it. Four, three, two, four, four. What's that? No. Right. And surely you can add three, four, four. And his 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 universally strong sender seems to be down four and one four three two. Let's try that out. Right. So this into the hell sweep. All right. Let's try a combo. Right. 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 Um. Pretty good. Uh, so filler. How much filler can I add? This. Back one. Maybe can I do four, three, four? Let's try that. Nah, can't get, get that. Does this do more damage or this? Let's see. Sixty. Oh, a bit tight. Okay, sixty. Let's try a three, four, four. Oh, it doesn't reach. Okay. Yeah, I can't land it. Okay. Uh, Alright. 24 damage. That's really good. That's really good. That's really good. But this is a high damage start, the Baron line. Wow, that's really solid damage. Because uh, he has high damage starters. Like, 21 damage for a starter is really good. Um, Back three? Hmm. Nah, can't land that. Uh, so I guess... Yeah, I have. Got some good filler there. Ah, yeah, that's right. Down forward, one, two, one. Wow. Wow. Wow, 83 damage? That's crazy. That's a lot of damage. So yeah, combo damage is definitely a strength. This has deceptively short range though, I think. Look. It's decent range for sure. But it's not a... Um... Oh no. Maybe it's a tracking thing. That's pretty good. Ah, oh, you can. Wow. So, let's see what it's. Let's set on rage as well, just just for the sh just for the shits and giggles. Oh, 
I think after a while standing three, you have to do um, the back one route. So his two routes really seem to be um, either 4 4 2 1. So, like after this, 4 4 2 1. Back, down forward 1 4. Why do I find it so hard to land that Hell Sweep? Ah, I'm doing it too fast, that's why. Just let it ro roll for a bit. Okay. No, I'm doing it like down forward 1 4 3 really, really quickly, and I'm doing it too quickly. So, um. You can chill a bit after inputting down forward 1 4, and then do 3 2. That's what I'm gonna get. I wanna see as I wanna get as max 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 damage combo. Um Which is probably this. damage is this. <laughs> if you can break 100 damage with no walls, that's good damage. From a safe counter hit mid, no less. It's really good. Please do. <laughs> Please clip that. So there are two combo routes. Forward four two one, back one, down forward one four to screw. Or back one. Uh, down forward one two one. Why am I writing these combos like a like an idiot? So like this. Ooh. All right. So these seem to be your two basic combo routes.
What is the real name of them electric? Lashing Squall. But we're calling him electric. <laughs> In the video, I'm just going to call it Muay Thai Electric. <laughs> Uh, okay. I think that's a... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you have to sidestep right after the low parry. Okay. Let's type this. Okay. So this is gonna do a shit ton of damage. Um, one more time. How much damage is this? Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Was that more or less than the other routes? I think Steve's going to be a horrible matchup. Yeah, you know, um, they really seem to be focusing on offense. It's, it's a... I do agree on that, right, Ben? You know, there's a general... There's generally less emphasis on movement uh, and more on kind of string-based, as you said, balls-to-the-walls offense. Having said that, I do like this character. I think he's very unique and brings something refreshing to the table. He's, he's clearly not anywhere near as strong as Leroy, though. I think he seems fairly mid-tier. And I think he loses against um, uh, a lot of generally agreed-upon top tiers. He, you can definitely see that they were much more um, cautious after Leroy. Because you can see in his first trailer, the Melectric was a, was a power crush, and now it's not. Alright, let's try that. Sorry. So I step right. Back one, down forward two. Okay. So I step right. So I step right, back one. Down forward one, two, one. Four, four, two, one. Nice. Alright, that works. Cool. Okay, cool. Um, all right. Um, and that's it, I think, for this character. He seems okay. Um, I don't think he's like top tier or anything. But he seems pretty damn good. He seems really scary. Uh, he seems like he has a really scary offense, which is probably the idea with this character. I mean, he's a big scary guy, right? Um, you want a guy who looks like this to be scary. 